Hey, what's going on, everyone? Serotonin2501 here uh, with bringing you Star Tropics, uh, an older game back from the 1990s uh, by Nintendo, kind of an underrated adventure kind of platformer game. A lot of shades of uh, Legend of Zelda. So we'll go ahead and get right in it. So we start with chapter one. And we're on Sea Island where Dr. Jones has his laboratory. So most of the game is a lot of times exploring the overworld, talking to people, and then there's a lot of more the, there's little action parts of the of the game which we'll get into here shortly. We gotta talk to everybody in town. Which gives us a little bit of the clues to the plot. We know that Dr. Jones was solving a puzzle. You know, there's a bunch of shooting stars. Fortunately, this is a small village, so there's not a lot of people to talk to, so... And now we go talk to the chief. It looks a little bit like Mario. find out uh, something went wrong. Uh, he's been abducted. And we get a yo-yo. Not the best weapon to start, but we can't really complain, so... Alright, now... from the shaman. And now we go through Sea Island Tunnel, our first first action level or dungeon or really whatever you want to call it. Always check tiles just in case they usually hold something, but most of the time not, but you never know. So gameplay is pretty straightforward, just fortunately there's a little bit of a delay in the movement, sometimes can throw you off. Every once in a while you'll find little pads like that will cause different things to show up, usually buttons or items, things like that. These little rats like to have really random movements, so they like to sneak up on you when you don't expect it. And we get probably the most annoying uh, low low health sound ever because the sound file is tied into other sound bits. They use the same frequency, so anytime certain sounds are made, that sound resets. Oh, thank God. Now the close, yeah, the closer you are to enemies, the fa faster you can hit them, and you can actually stun lock enemies. There we go. Search around here. There we go. 
That's really the way to go forward, but... Little side areas don't take it anywhere. And get our first treasure chest, which includes our first secondary weapon, which is the torch. Doesn't do a lot more damage. Doesn't really do any different damage, but it's got a little bit more of a range than the yo-yo, so... It's pretty useful. Now, whenever this music starts playing, you generally know you're in somewhere that's important, either toward the end of it, or if there's a uh, hidden exit, or things like that. area, because there's something we're going to want. That is a potion that will restore most of our health. Obviously, the higher health you get, it doesn't, it won't fully fill you, but as we are right now with only three hearts, it will fill up to max. So, so now that that's done... On. These bats are really annoying because they like to come out, and that happens. Usually that'll usually that'll put you at a halfway point, reset your your health, and whether you have weapons or not. So we're gonna be have a little bit less of the torch than we had earlier, but still more than enough, so... Yeah, 25 is more than enough shots of the torch. Alright, let's try that again. Now, with the movement, you can actually turn while you're still moving. Alright, so here's the first boss, the Sea Serpent. Now, normally you would need to get up close, but the torch allows us to kind of stay away and let us get a little bit of a headway on the... A little bit of a headway on the uh, fire, but I'm going to run out of torch here because I'm just sucking, so we got to... So we got to get right up in his face. But that allows us to pummel him like that, so it's not too bad. But like I was saying, as you're moving and jumping, you can actually turn directions mid-jump or mid-move, so... You can sneak up on sneak up on enemies that normally charge you like those snakes by turning at the last second and starting to attack them while you're still in motion, so... Alright, so we're done with the, the Sea Island Tunnel. And we're going to move on through the rest... Sometimes there'll be little hidden passageways in, in these mountains and whatnot, but there's nothing here, so we're going to go talk to this guy who's Babu, Dr. J's assistant. And we get a code to start the submarine. So we're going to go to the laboratory. And we get to meet... Navcom. So we give him the code, and we start up the submarine. And that is it for chapter one. It's a pretty short chapter. The first the first two chapters go by pretty quick. Uh, the third chapter is where it start where you start taking some time. It takes a while. So we're chapter two, dolphins. After a few hours of voyage, subsea is still cruising on the ocean. Alright, 
so we find there's a missing dolphin that we have to find. So we're gonna go here. Let's go check out this lighthouse. And we, this guy asks us to go see his wife. So. So if you can kind of see here, there's a little bit of motion there. What that, those indicate usually passageways that you can move through. Then we have deep water over here, which that will come into play here shortly. So we'll go talk to the, talk to the woman. So she saw a bottle on the beach, which we now see. walk along the beach and there's a little hidden pathway here that will take us right to it inside this note help captured by evil aliens tell my nephew to use code 1776 so we get another code no we don't want to read it again all right so we're gonna go back to sub C now Give Navcom the code, and now we can submerge. So the deep water that I was talking about. Another hidden passageway here, which gets us our red heart. This gives us an extra heart. to the second dungeon, Big Octo's Cavern. This one's kind of interesting because it's a little bit more open. It's not as confined as the other one was. And we get our a new sub-weapon here, the Bat, which is really slow, does a decent amount of damage, but it hits you know, 360 degrees around you, so it's nice when you have enemies all over the kind of swarming over you. Allows you to... You have a little trap here, the little tiles that like to move up and down. But they're they're on a timer, so you just gotta time it right. Later on, you come across tiles that will drop as soon as you get, get on them. The game likes to screw with you at times by giving you a tile that, giving you one of those up-down tiles that waits a little bit before it drops down, so you think you're safe, and then you just plummet to your death. These guys just basically jump up and down on tiles. Now, get off me. Jerk. Generally, they're pretty harmless, but as you can see, if they get you in the wrong spot, they can be annoying. Now, the stars, when you get... Uh, I forgot to mention the stars. When you get five of them, you get an extra heart. So, it's a slow way of refilling your health. And obviously we get double stars here. So you can kind of see the little dark areas on the uh, by the walls. It's pretty much like what was outside. Basically it tells you that you can move through it. It's a hidden passageway. So that actually comes into play quite a bit. Ah. The quick, you can usually get all four of them in one shot. Now we got these, we got this little pufferfish guy that likes to show up and shoot at you. And you can't really hit him. Unless he's close by. So. Nope, nothing there. Little 
hidden room here that contains something very important for us. As well as the way to continue, we get our first magic item. Which magic items you have to pause the game to use. That's the what we just picked up was called the snowman doll. That will come into play here shortly, and we found the dolphin. But in order to free it, we gotta fight this guy. This is Octo the Huge. Now he's kind of out of our range right now, we don't have anything to hit him. So. But that's where this comes into play. All you gotta do is just freeze him, and then just start wailing on him. And freeze him again, continue wailing on him. And that's it. And we win. The dolphin just sits there and chats at us for a couple minutes. Yay, we've done it. how to get out of here through the reef by following the dolphins. And we're off. Doesn't sound good. So now we're shipwrecked. From now on, we have to walk. So that's it for this video. Uh, if you like what you see, please go ahead and like, favorite, and subscribe it, whatever you want to do. Uh, please leave in the comments if you have any other ideas for me. Uh, we'll pick this up in the next video. Until then, I'm Serotonin2501. Stay happy, people.